Welcome to a new episode of GitHub Copilot. In today's episode, we are looking at documentation. AI-based assistants are known for the development activities nowadays. It's not only for the code generation aspects, how we can make our code. It can be the legacy code or a newly developed code, more readable, maintainable. If you hand over the code to another developer, how he can understand the kind of functionalities or logic developed by you. It's all through the commented sessions or the documentation you have added into the code. So in today, we are looking at how we can leverage the copilot capabilities for documenting our code base. So let us look at the documentation aspects. Start with a small Java application. I'm targeting this particular function. If I need to understand what exactly this function is doing, I can ask the copilot for explaining it. But that's an explanation given to me. But for maintenance and handing over to other developers, I want to add the documentation aspect here. Let me prompt the copilot or ask the copilot to help me in documenting this code. And it's a Java one. I can just specify documentation or Java doc to my code. So this will go ahead and uh, add the high level documentation to for my function. This function will get a top level documentation. As you can see here, it's added a top level documentation that is the Java doc we do normally, which explain the parameters and the return value. Either I can accept this or I can specify that add Java doc to my code and also add comments to each statement. So I need a elaborative things. Think that it's a very complex functionality. I need more support in documentation. Not only really the do Java doc comes on top. I need a line by line comments. So it's added a Java doc on top, which explain the parameters and return types. And also it's included the line by line comments explaining what the code is doing. So the logic is explained in a detailed format. If I feel this satisfy my requirement, I can just collect it or insert the code into my file. It's inserted the complete code with the proper documentation. So this worked not only really for the documents, the code angle or programming angle, it works for the testing angle as well. So here I have a set of test cases which is uh, using some mock framework. Using that, I'm mocking some services and doing the test. So let me see how the copilot is going to add the comments for this one. So I am uh, selecting the entire test method function or the class with the multiple test cases. I think there is only one test cases with uh, the mock setup above. Let me ask copilot add comments to my code. So it's going to add the comments in each line starting from the class level. As you can observe here, it's uh, imported the libraries. The, these two lines I haven't selected, so that's why it's not added here. From run with onwards, what Excel it's doing is explain. It's a Mokito J unit runner is to run the test. That's why it's defined here. And there is a declaration of to do service implementation and mocking that service, testing the environment with the before setup and the actual test method which create a list of to-dos, retrieve the to-dos, and invoke a method, and at the end, assert the things. So it's completely added the documentation for the mock-based test generation aspect. If you have a test script which is uh, not documented or not captured the comments, then you can use Copilot for adding the documentation properly. And is it going to work only for the programming and unit tests? No, it works for any kind of 
quotes. It can be scripts or it can be uh, Terraform or anything. So here there is a Terraform one. So I'm going to ask uh, Copilot to document the initial three, four resource generation or provisioning aspects. So let me ask Copilot at documentation to my code. So it's going to add documentation explaining what exactly it's doing. So I have captured around four blocks and it's given the documentation for all four. The first is starting with the Azure Resource Manager provisioning, this is the area. Then there is a resource group creation, the second one. And it's given even the documentation for each of the declaration as well. I have a name for the resource group, location of the resource group. And coming down, each of the line have its own documentation. So instead of giving this plain code level, we can add this to make it more readable or make it more uh, understandable for the others. So that in later point, if they need to extend the functionality or add new features, it's easy for the team to extend it further. So let us look at a little more on the two, three areas. See, I have a simple class here. Let me just ask Copilot, make it more readable. So even I am not asking them to add any comment or documents. Instead, I am saying make it more readable. It should be more readable. So it's a define that add comments so that it improve the readability. So it's a added the comment and done a little bit formatting and realigning the things so that it looks more readable format with detailed for each of the properties. It's defined what exactly each property is doing. And if I need to go in a detailed way, for example, I have an API code here. I need to include the Sogar based documentation. So I'm going to select the complete API and asking Copilot to help me to implement Sagar based documentation. So it's a different way of documentation. I need to include the Sagar APIs in my startup and everything. As a developer, I am aware of that. So let me see whether Copilot is able to help me in that level. So I'm asking add Sagar based or Sagar documentation for my API code. So this is uh, what I am expecting. So it needs to give me the definitions, how it will do. Let me see how it's going to add it. Cool, it's able to add the documentation for each of the APIs. It's going ahead. As you can see here, it's captured all the input parameters, the return values, and here the way it's defined is little different compared to the initial one where we have done a Java documentation. Here, if you look at the Java documentation, the parameter definitions and return definition is different from this a .NET API. In .NET API, we use a different format. So the Copilot is able to understand it's a .NET API, even though it's all added into a, a single repository. Still, it's able to identify the technology behind it and able to give me the complete documentation for each of the APIs. So if I need something like how to set set up the server for my API or how to take it to the next level, authentication setting and everything, I can prompt further so that it will give me the details how I can proceed with the complete Saga documentation. So explore further the documentation elements is very helpful. It will help you to document your legacy or the scripts or the test base or even an API based system documentation properly. Thank you.